I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Mrs. Sprottle. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh. Thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wig and Weld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Yeah. meat he's likely studied here.
careful not to get hit. Have a look around. See about the Hawk Clumps and the Box of Letters. That's all the Hawk Clumps for now. Mrs. Spottle should be pleased. That's all the Hawk Clumps for now. Mrs. Spottle should be pleased. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this... I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories.
Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Mr. Bickle, very concerning. You are here. Good. Off on another adventure, are we? You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Miss. He must be around here somewhere. Do you know which way Archie might have gone? He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will go to home. When I took the letter from the council officer, she told me she to be here. We have been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with everything that we Descendo! Expelliarmus! Accio! Descendo! Confringo! Accio! Expelliarmus! What did Officer Singer say about the lesson brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hypocrites cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. 
This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. <laughs> Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. Accio! Confringo! Descendo! We would have found out. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow will not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. with that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlem, distracted. This may be a good time for rebellion again. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a 
bad feeling about this. Hallow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome At least not in any way I can remember. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Blue. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Incendium. Akio. Beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. Revelio. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt hopeless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Achi. <laughs> They deserved. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That can't be. Hey, but... 
Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to Wingardium see you. Wingardium Leviosa, repair it. Sorry. We need to get this open. Aloha, Mora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. <laughs> 